Igbos in diaspora calls for negotiation and self-determination for Biafran freedom. The protesters who started the procession in London, UK, gathered on streets in crowd for protest for self-determination of Biafran freedom. It was a large crowd as the egos in diaspora came in mass not minding what the present situation may cost them. The protesters who started the procession from Trafalanga Square expressed their grievances over the killings in the southeast. Several protesters on Friday stormed the Nigerian House in London, the United Kingdom, to back the ongoing agitation for self-determination for Igbo people. The protesters who started the procession from Trafalanga Square expressed their grievance over the killings in the southeast. In a video captured by the BBC Pigeon, the demonstrators were dressed in Igbo attire with placards bearing different inscriptions such as Stop the Genocide and Nigerian government stop the killings of people in the southeast. Others and Nigerian president threatened another genocide. When Twitter objected, it was banned in Nigerian, Britain and American can force Bari to stop the killing of Biafrans in Nigeria. One of the leaders of the protesters who was with a badge of the Congress of Igbo leaders said, we have gathered here because the military personnel are killing people in the southeast. The police took kill. The government claims some people burned police station, prisons and some government buildings. They haven't said who carried out the attacks. Later, they said the assailants were people who looked like IPOP. Indigenous people of Piafra members and they will investigate. For weeks now, we haven't seen the results of their investigations. The police go to people's house to kill them there. This has to stop. They should stop shooting on sight. They should stop flushing. We are calling for negotiation. Let us go to the negotiation table and negotiate with Nigeria. Because these things happening in the southeast are happening in other parts of Nigeria. Nigeria has a big security challenge. We are calling on the President Mohamed Buhari to initiate negotiation on Nigeria so that there will be a decision and if negotiation is not possible, then let there be self-determination. The essence of this march today is to stop killing the Igbos in their homes. Igbo leaves matters. Fulani headsmen go to people's house and farms to kill people and the government calls it a clash. The word clash should be eradicated in the Nigerian. It is not clash but people being attacked. Another major participant representing the Ohanese Indigo said, We have come out because they are killing our youth. They are destroying our farms. We want this to stop and stop now. It will lose matters. Nigeria belongs to all of us. We want peace in Nigeria. We want Igbos to be free in Nigeria. We want all the policemen, soldiers, torturing our people in the southeast to withdraw. We are calling for a national conference to discuss the restructuring of Nigeria. If it is not possible, let us go in peace. We are calling on the European Union, the United Nations, African Union and the rest. They need to intervene in Nigeria. All is not well with Nigeria. You see? You see that? And that is just the humble truth. You don't, you, you, you don't expect these people to fold their hands and watch their brothers suffer in penury. You don't expect these people to sit down and watch their brothers being killed like chickens. Have you forgotten that they are Igbos? That they have a home in the southeast? Yes. They cannot rest. They can't sleep because the people you people are killing are their, are their blood. The people you people are killing are their relatives, their own blood, their own brothers. 
So there is no way they can sleep. They can't catch sleep. The way they are catching unrest in the South East, that is how they two are catching unrest. They two are catching unrest. So that is why you see them out on protest. On protest. They can't rest. The protest need to need to come. You can imagine Igbos in diaspora. That is to let you know the level at which this uh, um, killings, killing of innocent Igbo people has gotten to. Up to this extent that the Igbos in diaspora have to gather, gather for a protest for this killing. Listen to what they are saying. Can't you see the inscription on their on their banner? Genocide killings in Nigeria. Stop the killing of Igbo youths and what have you. All these things are what we need to ponder and think about. I don't know if the president is really thinking about this. Because if really is thinking about it, hmm, this is supposed to have stopped for a very long time. It would have stopped, but I don't think he's thinking about it. It's not. Because the killing still persists. It still persists. Look at the last time the president gave order on shoot on site. Do you look at the numbers of people that have died? Look at the number of people that have lost their lives. What are you to say about it? Hmm? What are you to say about it? What what do you what do you think? You if you're an Igbo man, you based in abroad and your families are in Nigeria. Your parents are in Nigeria. How will you feel? That something of this kind is happening in the state where your parents are. How will you feel? You can never be okay. You can never be okay or even comfortable. Never. You can't. So that is why we are raising our voice. That's why they are raising their voice. Because it has gone be careful. <laughs> yes. What else do you expect? It has gone to be careful. So they have to do something very, very fast to stop it. You understand? They have to do something. Because if nothing concerning that is done, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. So, my dear viewers, I will tell you that I am very, very pleased with this very action taken by the Igbos in diaspora. Because to me, there is nothing as sweet as that. That alone will pass a message to those doubting Thomas, unlike um, Balagabe Musa, that was asking if protest is the only means to put, to, 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 to achieve uh, uh, Biafran freedom. You see that? So with this very one, it will pass a message, a very straight message to them, to make them believe that that is the only way you understand you get it so um let us look into this my dear viewers let us try all within our powers to look into this and be fair to ourselves okay so if you're new don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you